Hey guys, Matt Griffiths here, one of the resident coaches. Uh, I just wanted to drop by and give you an update because I have finally had the time to sit down and do something that ML asked me to do from the very beginning, um, which is give you guys some free information using my particular expertise. Now, you may or not be aware, I run uh, and founded uh, GeForce Strength Conditioning and Wellbeing. Um, before I was working mainly with fathers from my own sort of transformation and my own life changes, I was working primarily as a strength and conditioning coach. Now, what this involved is working with some very high level athletes. Um, I'm sure you've all heard some of the names and some, you know, some of the people I've worked alongside, like Boris Chico, Ed Hall, uh, Lauren Chalet, Terry Hollands. Um, a bunch of these guys anyway, so involved, heavily involved in the strength community. I even got sent a picture the other day from uh, Strength Shop New Zealand, and I'm in the background on one of their adverts for their products, so uh, perhaps I'll have to get in contact with them for some royalties for putting my ugly mug on there. Anyway, um, getting to the point, what I'm trying to get across here is I have compiled and put together a PDF for you guys. So anybody that is in, interested or likes the idea of becoming stronger. Now, the benefit of strength training in terms of your workouts, what you want to do in terms of weight loss is strength training is actually more efficient at burning energy long term than is pure appearance based training. And there is a reason for this, and it is simply to do with the type of hypertrophy, hypertrophy, depending on whereabouts you're from. Um, it's a myofibrillar-based one where you're actually creating new strands of protein within the muscles. I'll do another live on this just to go through the details. Obviously, you all understand it. Um, but the power output is very, very important towards your calorie burn. It can really help you achieve your goals when you're trying to trim down and you're trying to get more solid in terms of the physique. And then plus you have a greater strength base to work from. Uh, if you do want to transition to anything else and you do want to work towards more sort of uh, an appearance based thing, it's a very simple question. If you've learned to be able to do through strength training, you start off with, say for argument's sake, a 100 kilo bench press for five reps. And through strength training period, you get to 140 kilos for five reps. So we've gone from roughly 220 pounds to 308 pounds for the same amount of reps versus a guy who is, keeps doing the reps and reps and reps at a lower weight. Now, it's a simple question of what builds more mass, what's going to build more definition when the, the fat is stripped away. Does 220 pounds for five reps or does 308 pounds for five reps? It's pretty simple, really. But people often ignore it. People go, that's only for powerlifters, that's only for strongmen. Absolute nonsense. Strength training is for everybody. It can improve everything and it is very, very functional. And it makes the sort of bodybuilding training much safer to perform. Now, what I've done is compiled uh, an eight-week plan for you guys. The first four weeks are initiation four weeks where you're going to practice proper technique because it's absolutely pivotal that you do these things properly. Um, once this is done, it moves on to a more structured strength-based plan, which is very different to a bodybuilding style plan. And you'll look at it straight away and think, oh, wait a minute, I can't do that. But the whole concept of strength training is very different because what you do with strength training is you stimulate. You don't annihilate, you stimulate. So, for example, you may be squatting three or four times a week. I've done programs where in the same workout I'll be squatting twice. I'll squat, bench, squat again. Um, because what I'm doing is actually training my body to be able to take these loads and train my nervous system. You're not trying to break a muscle down and fill it with fluid, which is what the bodybuilding style stuff does. You're actually breaking it down to the repetitive stress. The body gets stronger to bear it, so it, it creates more protein strands and becomes a stronger, more dense muscle, which will last for longer and doesn't deteriorate as fast when you stop training. Hey, everybody that's watching, uh, great to see you here. I hope this is of some use to you. Um, so, yes, you've got four weeks uh, sort of introduction into this and then four weeks where it's pretty going to be pretty tough. Uh, I haven't included in this one any percentage basis because if you're just getting into it, we don't need to worry about this. Um, this sort of whole projected one rep max calculator thing, I'll tell you now from experience, you know, I've had near enough 40 gold medals in terms of training strength athletes in international competitions 
you know, not just national, this is international level. Uh, and I can tell you straight away, these one rep max calculators are absolute nonsense. They don't work that way because if you can do five reps with something, you can't predict a one rep max from it because it depends entirely on the structure of your body uh, and your nervous system and you don't know where that weak link is going to appear. Anyway, I've sent this PDF uh, across to Emil and hopefully you'll get it up on the site and get it shared. Have a look at it. Uh, it's perfectly free, you know, you can download it, you can look at it. Um, I'm not holding anyone to account or anything like that, so you can go ahead, share it, do what you want with it. But it's for you guys. Hope you improve from it. Um, and I hope you have a great day and a great weekend. You'll have to excuse the strange surroundings for me, but I'm staying at a friend's house while my partner is working. Uh, we are attending a charity ball tonight where we're donating various gifts. So I've donated an eight-week program um, for a, to take a client on full-time. Uh, which they'll be bidding on to pay for charity. So just trying to give a bit back to the community as well. So it's put me in a bit of a different place. Uh, but if you have any questions or queries on it, if you're trying to follow it and you're unsure, tag me, just tag me or don't send me a direct message. Uh, or if you don't want to talk to me, go through a mail and get him to message me. And I'll try and answer all your questions on that. And I hope you all have a great day and I hope it's of great use to you. Um, this is just part one. Once this goes down and people start having a look at it, then I'll put part two out, which is going to get a little bit more specific because there's quite a lot of science to strength training that isn't really discussed in the bro communities, as it were. People think they know how it works, but when you actually come down to it, it's quite complex. Um, but I'm not going to put all that out there and start baffling people with it to start with. Once you have a go at these lifts and you see the challenge and the neurological stress, then we'll start working on it from there. So have a good one, guys. I hope it's very, very useful. Um, there's already a lot of great content from a lot of the other coaches on there. There's some great beginner routines. There's some great nutrition guides on there. So we're all doing our part to try and make sure that you guys uh, have got an awesome group, an awesome thing to follow. You're welcome to contact any of us, uh, and we're always there to help out. So have a good one, guys. Great weekend. Love to all your families. Take care.